this is part two of French countryside and again I took the painting home in the evening set it up on a table and would walk by it as I made my dinner and I thought I'd better come back to it the next day and do a little bit of adjusting here and there so four hours later <laughs> You know, when I do these programs, I try to paint very fast, but um, anyway, about four hours later, this is what I ended up with, and I want to just tell you a little bit about it. Enjoy. I'm using a very small filbert. This happens to be uh, a size 10 filbert, and this is a uh, round so that I can make little pointed areas. All right, when I got to the sky and took another look at it, the sky didn't appear to be the right color. So I changed the color with a little more cerulean blue and also added clouds. So the clouds uh, helped it somewhat. And then I noticed that the reds were so bright and basically it's what happens when you are uh, putting down base colors. As you add layers, you can soften them. It's easier to soften the colors with oil, that's for sure, because the oil stays wet longer. There are some acrylics that last a little bit longer, but in this case, um, I did go over these several times with slightly different colors. Now the houses, I added more white to the houses and more uh, purple, which was made with magenta and Viridian. So I added those and then it seemed like I needed a more houses so I added a few more homes there. Again in the in the bottom portion I added a lot of purple and blue keeping keeping sure that I stayed away from the corners went above the corner and to the side of the corner. The little white flowers show between the purple and when I came down to the end, I also simplified some of these lines so that I didn't have quite so many and filled in with larger flowers because I'm closer to the, uh, closer to the person looking at the picture. Now if you notice at the very end, when I signed it, I try to sign with a complementary color and I use a very, very narrow brush so that it doesn't ruin the painting. Now the other thing I do is stay at least one inch in and one inch from the side because when someone's taking a picture of it many times they cut off the edge and you don't want your name cut in half. If you'll notice the back pasture area usually from the mountain range the back pasture is always light so you want to keep that light and as it comes down to the next area you darken it slightly and then the next area becomes lighter. So if you notice in this area here I had the light green, but as it comes down the hill, it darkens an area. And I also added, because I had flowers here, I added a little bit of magenta and a little bit of burnt sienna with white and with the green area there. And so it darkens it here. So it gives you the feeling that the hill is moving downwards. Also, I use a brush stroke that goes diagonally down. If everything were this way, it wouldn't look like a hill. But when it comes down this way and this way, you follow the terrain. And that's what makes it exciting. This was a little steeper. See, so I come down that way. And you basically, it's like steering a car. You just go, if this comes down and this comes over this way, you just kind of play with it. If you notice also the trees, all are darker at the base. And that's important. If you just go like this and think it's going to work, it's not going to work. Everything at the base has to be darker. See? All the way through. All the way through. Everything's darker with a little bit lighter at the top. And you can do that by adding a neutral gray or by white or a little bit of some of the other color in the picture. Do you notice the dark? The dark? And here are the shadows. The more dark the shadows are, when the light comes next to it, it makes it look very sunny. If you don't have these little dark areas of shadow, then you won't see the sun as it comes through. But that's what makes it appear that way. So that was kind of the wrap up. I made sure that there was a white area here and 
I hope that helps you. You probably wondered what it looked like when I walked away from it when it was really finished. Well, this is what it looks like. I hope you really enjoy a French countryside yourself. I hope you live in the area that you visit the countryside often. And if you don't, I hope you enjoy painting it. Hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.